Hello, my lovely Twitch chat. Hello, it is I, your Natsu favorite, Natsu Sisa Degenerate Anime Cat Girl, and today we are playing some Project Diva. And once again, we are going to do our challenge of trying to get 10 perfects in a row. And if we manage to do so, then I promise that next time I play this game, I will take half an edible or a quarter, depending on how I feel that day. But either way, I will be kind of, I, I will be, uh, I, I will be kind of loopy for sure. God, I wonder what Len or like any other Vocaloid would sound like in live tune style. Because as you can hear, live tune like has a way to like make Niku sound very auto tune -y. So I kind of want to like hear like if he's like done like some of like other vocalists besides Niku. Because now I'm curious about what they would sound like in a style. Alright, we got our first perfect. Love to see it. I'm not getting it a perfect on the song knowing my luck. But I do like doing a song because of how ridiculous it is, so uh, I'm willing to break that. It was only like one perfect anyway, so no big deal. Wh what the frick it happened again? Every time I say I'd never get a perfect, I get a perfect. What? Well, how does this always happen to me? Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not complaining, but the fact that this happened, like, like, at least five times is insane to me. Well, at least we got, uh, two perfects in a row, at least. Alright, we have Kaito repping the brand in Miku and her one snow outfit. I mean, don't confuse it with snow Miku, but it's just a, a winter outfit. I can, like, show you guys, like, after the song. Alright, we're doing World of Mine next. I know I'm not going to be able to get a perfect on World of Mine. Because I've not, I've, I've not achieved that yet. I got a perfect! Oh my god! What the frick is this? What the frick? How does this always keep happening? Every time I say I know I'm not going to get a perfect on the song, I somehow always do. It's like my brain goes into try-hard mode. It's your favorite white boy song. Alright, and Len's wearing the, uh, Kaito outfit. He's repping the Kaito brand. So Len's gonna actually be in the song. You get to see the white boy dance. Oh, the curse shipping song. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh god, Len's a furry! Now I hope it's not Miku. But she does not need to see him be a furry. Never mind, Miku's a gamer, she's into it. You have a chance, Len. He's finally talking to her! He's talking to the gamer girl! He did it! He gets bitches! Hell yeah! Good for you, Len, you get bitches! <laughs> Not gonna lie, that really took me off guard. That took me so off guard. I was expecting, like, one of them to wear the Germa shirt. I was expecting the Germa shirt. God, this is probably gonna, like, throw a curveball through my combo. Because I'm probably gonna get distracted by all this. Plus, in the song, Luca moves, like, really provocatively. So, uh, that's gonna be very interesting with, the uh, with Speedo Kaito. So, uh, let's, let's have some fun. Let's do this. Let's try our best. Guys, look respectfully. Or don't. I don't care. I am feeling a lot of emotions right now. I'm gonna pause it for a second because I just got like this this stupid like the, the stupidest like like thing in my head. Like I just have like the stupidest thought. Kaito looks like like he he's like staying at a hotel, like a really fancy hotel. But the, the fancy hotel has like like a casino and a pool, and it looks like he forgot like his like his like his like swim clothes like you know the clothes you put over your swimsuit. So he's like passing by like the uh, the 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 hotel's like casino just to get back to his hotel room. I don't know. That's that's just what I'm thinking right now. Stop. 
Stop! Stop! Fuck, I really thought I was gonna fucking crack at some point. Jesus Christ, we somehow did that. Oh lord. Alright, I don't know if I'm confident with this song because I barely get any perfects, but we're gonna try it anyways. Alright! Two more! We've gotta get two more, guys! Two more! Uh. I'm not sure what this outfit is. I can't recognize it. Oh, it's that one lace outfit. Honestly, it still kind of fits the song. Alright, nine perfects in a row! One more, boys! Let's do it! Let's get some hype in the chat! I really like the Mako version of this- I mean, not- I mean, not that this game has a Mako version, but there's like this one, uh, person who did a cover of this song with, uh, Mako, and it sounds really good. I also did a cover of this song, believe it or not. It was my very first Vocaloid cover. I did it with Ultimati Una. We did it! Ten perfects in a row! Let's go! So, a couple weeks ago, I made a bet with y'all saying, Hey, if I can get ten perfect songs in a row on Project Diva, the next time I play this game, I will take an edible. And by some miracle, I managed to do that. I don't know how, because usually my luck is like shit, but I guess lady luck has been shining upon me, which probably explains why I've been like dying to creepers in Minecraft lately, like I used up all my luck. Oh, hello. Oh, ah! What the fuck was that? There's a lot of mobs down there. Oh, are you trying to jump up, you bitch? <laughs> you can't reach me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I really need to shut my mouth sometimes. I need to... Wait, what the fuck? Ah! What the fuck? I'm glad you didn't die from that, but what the frick? Cause you gotta admit, the Persona music slaps. What the- Oh, come on! Are you joking? Y'all! You're kidding me! <laughs> I'm never safe. I'm never safe in Minecraft. I am never safe in Minecraft. I am never safe in Minecraft. <laughs> I am never safe. You know the drill, if you guys want to request a song, you're more than welcome to do so. Oh, I forgot to put it up on my thingy. I knew I was going to do something. I was rushing. I was rushing, to be fair. Today I was able to dance with the stars to cast a Tenma himself. I, it's just, it's, it's Jerma with Wonder, Wonderland Showtime. It's them. It's them. Honestly, I feel like if Tsukasa were a streamer, he would be Jerma, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Tsukasa's like the, the Jerma of Pro Sakai. Now that I'm high and realizing it, th this is gonna bite me in the ass later, I bet. I'm, I'm gonna post that on Twitter. I'm gonna post that on Twitter, actually. You know what? I'm posting it on Twitter. If we're going on Twitter, I'm gonna post it so I don't forget to post it, like, later. I know this is the high impulse of talking, but god damn it, I'm kinda committed at this point. Hatsune Miku? Is that you? Speaking of Kaito, have you guys like heard of like how of like Kaito's voice actor being Kaito's like number one fan? He fucking loves him. He calls him his son. He always makes posts with Kaito. You are so There's no bigger Kaito fan than Kaito himself. This song is so long, Jesus Christ! I swear, taking an edible play this game makes like fast songs sound slower. 
Hatsune Miku, is that you? Jesus Christ, it's Hatsune Miku! Magurne Luka? Is that you? Remember earlier when I said that, I, that I'm not sure if this thing was gonna hit me? I'm eating these words right now. Fuck, sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> I got distracted because... Okay, this is gonna be really stupid and it's mostly just an inside joke between friends so I'm gonna like talk about it anyways. Cause it's like, cause I'm just thinking about it again and it's so funny. So I was looking at Miku and it reminded me that she had an outfit and uh, she she has an outfit that's from that one Persona game, Persona 4 game. Uh, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 go the All Stars, Dancing All Stars, yeah, that's the name of the game. Yeah, and, and I remembered that Miku had, had a cameo in, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Persona 4 game. And then I just remembered this stupid joke that my friends and I made yesterday. So my friend was, like, was, like, playing, uh, Persona 4, and I was, like, watching, and... Uh, we were, we were in the game, we were in, uh, Yu's uncle's apartment. I think his name was Dojima. We were in, uh, Dojima's apartment. And, like, on, on his, like, table, there was, like, this, like, red box. And we just made, like, an inside joke that they're, like, cheese it And for, uh, his game, uh, my friend had to talk to, like, Dojima for, like, a quest or something like that. Or to build up relationships. I don't know. I forgot, like, the, the, the main purpose of Persona 4. Anyway. So, like, he gets, like, he ha he talks to, like, Dojima about <laughs> about something i forgot it, what it was but like very prominent on that table was still that red box that looked like cheese it's so he was like basically like dubbing it like he's like yeah see this box of cheese that's right here and like he made like you said like, yeah can i have some he's like no so he basically made like an inside joke that dojima like loves cheese it's and he does not allow like you and nanako to like eat the cheese it's in the house because they're only for him and like <laughs> So the next really uh, conversation, you had to like talk to someone, and I think like one of the characters was like, "Oh hey, you look kind of rough there." Uh, no, no, wait, oh, no, he was talking to Adachi. He was talking to Adachi. That's what. Yeah. So you had to talk to Adachi, and Adachi's like, "Oh hey, I bet uh living with your uncle's kind of rough, cause like he works with his uncle." And then you's like, "You have," and then he made you be like, "You had no idea," and we just like flash back to the fucking cheese it's. <laughs> then there was the one scene when Nanako gets sick. And, and Dojima had to leave, and we made a fucking, like, an inside joke that Nanako got to his Cheez-Its, and for, like, security measures, like, he replaces the, the Cheez-Its with, like, cyanide ones, and that's why, like, she's, like, she's, like, sick and shit. <laughs> I know, I know you're probably looking at me like, what the fuck is she talking about? I mean, if, if, if you know Persona 4, you'll basically know the characters, and congrats, I don't have to explain anything. But I just, I congrats, I gave you guys the image of like Dojima being obsessed with uh, cheese crackers. Congratulations. Moo! I strive to be a little jumping cow in Oho Yodo in Project Giva Megamix Plus next to Hatsune Miku. That's what I strive to be. Oh, look, look at the little guys! Look at the jump! Look at the little cow dancing! Did you see the little cow dancing right there on that side right there before it, like, it faded? That's me! That's me if I was a cow! Ren's practicing self-love, let's go! Pajama Rin represents uh, Rin trying to love herself. And the, uh, the real Rin is like Rin's true feelings. She's rejecting her feelings, bruh, and I fucked it up because I was trying to get psychological and fucking Rin Chan now. Rin's rejecting her true feelings! She's depressed as fuck, she's just like me for real! Why are we always focusing on Kaito's ass? Jesus Christ, is he really that submissive and breedable? I mean, at least he- I mean, I can see he likes pegging, I can totally tell. Like, we can all, like, see that he likes pegging, but still. 